Hello, fourth grade. Today we're going to make a clay bird. You'll need the clay, maybe some water, and some tools to make texture. Clay is basically dirt and water. This is a special kind of dirt that you can make and mold into something. After the clay is molded and dries so that the water evaporates, then I put it in a kiln and after I fire it, it becomes hard and we call it ceramic. It has a glass-like ting. So today we're going to make a bird. You're gonna take your lump of clay and you're going to roll it in your hand, squeeze it. This allows the air bubbles to get out of the clay. Once you've squeezed it and rolled it into a good circle, you can use your tarp or your wallpaper that I sent home. You're gonna start molding your bird. We're using pinching to make our bird. So first of all, I'm going to try to get a bird shape. I'm going to take my squeeze, my pinchers, and I'm going to squeeze up where I think the head should be. If I want my bird to have feet, I'm going to pinch the bottom so that I can form feet. So now my bird has kind of a head, a belly, and feet. your bird needs wings, you can take your clay tool or a plastic knife and cut into the clay and that opens up some wings. You're forming your bird the way that you'd like. I'm going to pinch up a beak. So now I'm ready to add surface details to make it look like more of a bird. Right now it just looks like a form. I think I'm going to do an owl. my tool, I will draw the eyes. I can use tools to add texture. I'm going to add feathers just by pushing in my tool. I'm down to the feet. Owls have talent. I'm going to cut out each of the talents. The claws of the owl. a clay piece, you have to remember it's three-dimensional. It has a front, it has sides, and it has a back. Not even do you have to put texture on the front, you have to add texture on all the sides. Experiment with different ways of using tools or things around the house to make an impression in the clay. can be a clay tool. You can use keys, marker lids, popsicle sticks, anything that makes a mark in the clay. Clay 
pieces need to dry and have the water evaporate. This is a very large, thick piece. So what I'm going to do is take my tool and add some air holes in the bottom. This allows the air to get inside and dry the clay so it doesn't explode. You can use your finger too and make a hole, kind of like this. This needs to dry for about a week to let the water evaporate out of the clay. Once it evaporates, we put it in a kiln. The kiln is a really hot oven. This clay fires at about 1,823 degrees. After it fires, it comes out a different color. It's white and it's not soft anymore. It's hard like a rock. Once it comes out, we can paint it and add details to it. And that's the finished product. If you have a clay piece at home that you would like me to fire, please bring it to school and leave it at the office and I will fire it so that you can paint yours. I hope you have fun doing your clay bird.